Hello, I am Danielle, and this is Ava. We have a lot of great information for you. If it is happening at Hill, we have it. Ava, what's being served in the cafeteria next week? Monday, we will have mozzarella sticks and PB and J sandwich. On Tuesday, we will have hot dogs, and there will be there is also deli sandwich. For Wednesday, we will have macaroni and cheese and deli sub. Thursday's lunch is one of my favorites, oriental style chicken, and lunch B is a deli sub. Finally, on Friday, homemade pizza and lunch B is toasted cheese sandwich. I think that's some great lunch for this week. Danielle, what is the weather looking like? This week's weather is looking like a pretty normal winter week with both rain and snow in the forecast. On Monday, it will be rainy and then turn to snow on Tuesday. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are all expecting to have snow. Thursday is the only day that snow is not expected. This week, we will have a high of 45 on Monday and a low of 19 on Wednesday. Not too bad, and it should allow classrooms to get outside for recess if they want, would like to. Ava has one of our recent Golden Stand winners. Thanks, Danielle. Congrats to Jessica Herman. Miss Reinhardt picked Jessica because she is always on time for lessons, and she's always prepared for lessons and rehearsals. Miss Reinhardt says Jessica is always the first ready for both lessons and rehearsals. She comes ready to play and improve, and that is why Miss Reinhardt picked Jessica. Keep up the great work. What's this, what's this week's riddle, Danielle? This week's riddle is, there is a one-story house with everything colored yellow. The walls, the furniture, the floors, everything. What color are the stairs? We will give you the answer near the end of the show. Ava has our PBIS smile this week. This week's PBIS smile is special for me because it's my teacher, Miss Kinslow. She helped us and sew her coat back together when she found out that there, it had been ripped. Thank you to Miss Kinslow for going above and beyond for your students. Danielle, who is this week's staff pick? This week's staff pick is Mrs. Cachito. Mrs. Cachito has two daughters, and their names are Olivia and Sophia. Did you know that Mrs. Cachito used to teach fifth grade in Mr. Fiorino's room in the Yellow Wing and worked with Mrs. B.E.? She has been working at Hill for 23 years, which doesn't seem possible. She looks so young. Mrs. Cachito loves to travel and has even been to Italy. She's a huge New York Giants fan. Her students tell me that she is a great reading teacher and she is always smiling and kind. Keep up the hard work, Mrs. Cachito. Ava is going to tell us about kindness and why it is important. That's right, Hill School. With the kindness challenge going on, we thought it was important to talk about kindness, empathy, and gratitude. Kindness is saying or doing something positive for someone. Empathy me it means understanding or caring about someone else's feelings and taking action to help. It means putting yourself in someone else's shoes and understanding what they might be going through or feeling. Gratitude is a way of looking at something it good in our lives and being thankful for what we have. You might be thinking, what does kindness, empathy, and gratitude do for us? Great question. When we are kind to others, it strengthens our relationships and friendships. Doing acts of kindness and showing empathy creates positive emotions and provides support. When we feel grateful, grateful when others show us kindness, giving and receiving makes us feel good. When it comes down to it, everyone has a choice to be kind. So hopefully you make that choice, not just during the kindness challenge, but for a lifetime. Danielle is going to catch us up on some student council news. Student Council has some news that all the music lovers will like to hear. Student Council has voted to fund the RPO field trip for 5th grade students. The RPO is the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra. The 5th grade students will see them perform at Eastman Theater, so all 5th graders should dress up fancy for that. Congrats to Olivia Hartnett, Holden Wassinger, Justice Majors, Haley Spence, Katie Courier, Kellen Skripnik, and Emma Loki, who all got a limo ride to Red Robin for lunch for their fundraising. Red Robin, yum! All student council representatives and alternates will be getting t-shirts. I wonder what color they will decide to choose. Tune in another time to find out. Ava has a great book you might be interested in. If you like scary and dark books, this might be the right one for you. It's called Where the Woods End. This is about a 12-year-old girl named K Kestrel. She lives in an endless forest full of dangerous beasts. But the, the most dangerous beasts are the grabbers. Because when you're born, they stalk you throughout your life, waiting for the perfect mo moment to snatch you and eat you. No one has ever defeated the grabber once attacked. Kestrel has been forced by her mother, a powerful spellcaster, caster, to hunt down the grabbers in an effort to protect their village and the forest. Joined by Pippa, a funny weasel, she searches for a way in the forest, 
but her own grabber is creeping closer and closer, and nothing in the forest is is what it seems, including her, including her mother. We need to find out if she's able to s- escape before it's too late. Sounds like a pretty intense. Sounds like pretty intense to me. Danielle is going to tell us about what which wing had the best attendance last week. Last week, the wing that had the best attendance was the red wing. That's right. Ava and I are proud red wing members. Second place was the orange wing. Third place, the yellow wing. Blue wing, you might want to wash your hands a little more because you had the lowest attendance. But good news is we have a new week, so let's see if the red wing can stay on top again or will someone else get the title. Find out next episode. Ava has some interesting days being celebrated next week. London did some research and found some interesting holidays that we thought would be super cool and might be something that you're interested in. On December 9th, it's Homemade Gift Day. Find some supplies and get your craft on. On December 10th, it's Human Rights Day. So get, get, so think about how to change the world and treat other people with respect. On December 13th, it's Violin Day, so you should turn up your favorite violin jam. Danielle's going to tell us about Ski Pub members and about their next meeting. There will be a ski club meeting in Mrs. Parker's room on Tuesday, December 10th in the Orange Wing, room 208 at 11.35. The meeting will only be about 5 to 15 minutes long. Hope to see you there and keep that snow coming. Ava has this week's two lies and one truth. This week's two lies and one truth is based on violins in honor of Friday being our National Violin Day. So the choices are, number one, violins have five strings. Number two, the highest note that a violin can play is A. And, and number three, playing the violin for one hour burns 170 calories. We will give you a few seconds to figure this out. And the answer is number three. As for number one, violins only have four strings. And n- number two, the highest note a violin can play is E7. That's all for this week's Two Lies and One Truth. Viol- Danielle has information about two upcoming assemblies taking place soon. On Wednesday the 18th, we will have guests from the Hampstead Stage Company performing a Christmas carol. The cool thing about this performance is it only has two actors playing a bunch of different parts, including a lot of costume changes. It will begin at 9.20 in the cafeteria. It is always a great performance, and remember your audience manners. On Friday, December 20th, some classes will be going to the high school at 10.30 for a holiday concert with the high school band. Maybe you will see an older sibling or someone you know. You will be walking there, so bring a hat, some gloves, a warm jacket, and maybe even some boots. There will be some classic holiday songs and a great way to get ready for the holiday break. Ava has the answer to our riddle this week. Remember the riddle from the beginning of the show? There's a one-story house that is colored yellow. Yellow walls, yellow furniture, yellow floors. What color are the stairs? Here's the answer. There are no stairs. It is a one-story house. That it is... That's it for this week's episode. Hope you enjoyed watching it, and thanks for watching. This is World Class Time Back.